Hello, my name is Andrei Osachuk. I help companies to get value from their investments in Adobe Analytics. I am an Adobe certified expert with nine years experience and provide consulting, implementation, data analysis and training services. In this video, you will get to know one of the causes why companies may fail to get insights from their analytics solution. And the subject of this video is naming convention or worst practice for building page names. And at the same time, we'll also talk about best practices for building page names. Let's get started. I will continue the audit of the audio website and let's have a look at what we have as a value for page name. So this is the home page of the German version and we can see d slash brand slash d and if we switch to Swiss version this is also the home page we can also see chwebde uh, we already can see recognize that something probably is wrong with the naming convention because the second component uh, in the page name in the Swiss version is web while in the German version it's brand and it's not clear what is the difference so usually the naming convention means that you have a standard across all localizations of your website so that it will be uh, clear and easy to manipulate with the data when you have all the data in one global report suite and brand and web usually stand for absolutely different meanings and it's not clear how analysts will understand the difference between the brand and web in the page name. So now let's uh, have a look also at the Spanish version. And we also can recognize web here. So in general so far it's more or less good, it's not a big problem I would say, but let's uh, continue with the audit and we will go to other page. We will select A1 sport back and select the same page on other websites. On the German version the page name is set to Neue Wagen, A1, A1 sport back, right? So this is uh, something that allows us to understand what page the visitors viewed. And let's check now the Swiss version. Also the same page name, which is good. And finally, the Spanish version. So here we have another uh, problem, or probably problem. So here we have Modelos. Uh, so basically this is Spanish um, word that was used for the page name while on the Swiss and German version we have Neuwagen which is the German name of the uh, section. And this is again the problem because the more localizations you have the more unique values you should expect in your page names uh, report. This will be very complicated to analyze how the customers and visitors view the website since every single page which is the same uh, in terms of the content has its own name, its localized name. And for example imagine that you want to understand the traffic volume on the page that is dedicated to A1 Sportback model. And in this case it will be hardly possible since the page name itself has different names. In this case this is Neuwagen, in the Spanish version this will be Modelos. So this is um, this means that there is no a strict naming convention across different locales of the website and this may become a problem. But let's dig deeper and now we will take a look at the page 
which describes technical details of the model. And I will proceed with that on every local. I'm sorry, not this, not this page, but Technische Daten. And again, let's take a look what has been sent to analytics. This is the page name and uh, you can see that this is a quite long name and as you may recognize it's absolutely unclear what is sent after engine compare. This, look, this looks like a kind of code which is absolutely not clear and imagine your analysts, your managers that you will be sharing reports with will have to deal with such values in the report. For sure they will hardly understand what this page is about. But now let's take a look also at the Swiss version. So here we have a better name. Uh, we have engine compare. Then again uh, something like a code and tech data. And uh, German version finally Um, here we have the page name similar to the Swiss name, which is good, but the problem is that the code is different. And when you see such page names, think about again whether it will be clear for you end users to recognize what this page is, then think about how to find the same page but for different localizations. In this case, you should expect absolutely different values for all of the websites in the pages report, which is not good. And finally, think about whether it really necessary to send such long and meaningless uh, codes to your page name reports. So I would think that uh, this probably stands for something like SKU, of the probably page or asset or content on the website, but this really doesn't make any sense from my point of view to store this in the pages report. And uh, what would be the best practice for page naming convention for such a big site with uh, so many different localizations? For my opinion, it would be better if the page name would be structured the way that first, as you can see in this example, we have DE that stands for uh, probably domain or Germany, like, a, like country. Then we have brand and as you remember on the Swiss version we have web and the company just need to decide whether to use brand or web because this doesn't make any sense to store different values for different locales here in this component. Then the language, uh, which is also good. And then, uh, for example, if this is not Neuwagen or just cars or models, that same value should be applied to all locales. So, for example, Neuwagen should be on all locales. But it's much better to use English version uh, so it will be either cars or models so that uh, for every locale it will be clear what the page is about. Then A1, this is a model, then modification of the model, which is good. Then engine compare and tag data looks good. And if engine compare dot tag data is populated across all locales, it would be much easier for analysts to work with this report. So all the SKUs should be stored somewhere in a separate variable or should be just removed from the uh, values at all because this doesn't make any sense to store it. This is my advice. If you have other opinions or would like to share your experience please do this in the comments 
and I'm always happy to get your questions. Thank you. Hope this video was helpful for you.